Hi again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, What Would You Do Differently? Watching people die is always a growth experience. I don't say this lightly because the trauma for family and friends is real and painful. But if you're in the medical profession or serve as a hospice worker or even a minister, the constant passing of people from this life to the next occurs repeatedly in your everyday work and serves more to teach than frighten or, or depress. It seems the more I help people go through this terrible step, the more I recognize lessons that are repeated in every case. And no matter that the families and the individuals in question are of different cultures, faiths, or even socioeconomic backgrounds, the same lessons appear over and over again. For example, at death, everyone seems to regret having focused on the wrong things. You know, too much time cleaning, not enough time celebrating. Senseless grudges kept too long melt away when the shadow of death occurs. Uh, not attention given to the kids or to the parents or to the wife, to the Lord. It's as if death or the threat of it finally forces us to adjust our focus, our priorities, and our reality. When there's a little time left, we, we tend to get serious about life. How sad that is. How sad that it takes the stopping of someone else's life to move us to truly begin living our own lives more fully. Now, if you're watching this blog, I want you to stop and think for a moment about what you would do differently if you knew you were going to die in a month. Go ahead, think about it. You'll have learned an important lesson and have fewer regrets when the time of death actually comes if you put into practice what you've just thought about. That's because you'll do now what most people only wish they did when it was too late to do it. Well, this is Mike Mazzalongo and you're watching the Bible Talk video blog. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.